Hello everyone, welcome to an episode of the DevOps show. In this video right here, I'm going to be showing you how to set up an LXD cluster on our brand newly provisioned node using Terraform Cloud. Our nodes are running in Hetzner Cloud Provider. What we're going to be doing is we're going to jump into our Bastion and then from there we're going to jump into um, the actual application node uh, using the private IP address. So I you know, explain how all this uh, came about in the previous episode. So if you haven't seen that, I recommend you check that out first. So let's jump into the node. So I'm going to copy the IP. All right. Yes. Okay, so we're in the node now and I'm going to jump into the actual application node using the private IP. Yes. All right. What we're going to do first is we're going to set up uh, LXD, so install LXD. Uh, and so in some cloud providers, uh, if you use a default Ubuntu image, you may not need to install LXD because uh, the default Ubuntu image generally has LXD already installed. But for Hetzner Cloud, it comes completely empty, uh, which means we need to install LXD first. You do check, you know, before you do these steps. If you already have LXD installed, you don't need to do this. So I'm going to do apt update. Now I'm going to run apt install snapd. Snapd is the Ubuntu's package manager. So we're going to use snapd to then install uh, LXD. All right. So snap install LXD. LXD is now installed. So we can now actually initialize LXD. So LXD init. So setting up LXD is pretty straightforward. It's going to ask you a set of questions. Uh, we go through and answer it. So we're going to do it together on the screen right now. But yes, I want to use clustering. Here, uh, I want to use a private IP because what I want to, ha to happen is when I add more nodes to this cluster, I want them to communicate using the private IP address. So basically the private network that we have set up. So I'm going to do 10.0.1.1. That's good. Nope, I'm not joining a cluster. Uh, what name? Yeah, Nebula node one is fine. Yes, I'm going to configure a new. Yeah, ZFS is fine. Yep. New ZFS pool looks good. Nope. So here, so on my node, I have a 40 gigabyte, you know, disk space set up. So I'm going to dedicate 10 gigabyte to the actual Ubuntu host. And LXD is just going to use 30 gigabytes on this. So I'm going to do 30 GIB. Nope, that's good. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so here uh, for the fan overlay network, we want to use a fan overlay. So I'm going to hit yes. And it's going to ask uh, which subnet I want to use for the fan underlay. We're going to use uh, something 10.0.0.0 slash 16. So if you use our Terraform module, these values will work just fine. So this kind of really depends on how you actually set up your VPC and your subnet. And in this case, you know, if you use a Terraform module, you can follow along just fine. Uh, if you do are not using our Terraform module, you need to check in your cloud provider what the CIDR is for your subnet. All right, so I'm going to hit enter here. Yep. Everything looks good. So uh, with that done, then, you know, I think we're pretty much good to go. So we just need to do one more configuration. So by default, LXD will only expose uh, the A LXD API, you know, internally in the network as we set it. However, when we communicate, uh, when we communicate with Instellar, so, you know, it, when Instellar is doing the management work of using LXD, it needs to communicate across the internet. So what we need to do is uh, just set one configuration, so LXD config set core.https address and here I'm going to type in something like this. So what this says is um, to expose LXD as LXD server uh, on the public internet. This is safe because uh, we're not going to set up any password, um, which means the only uh, I'm going to show you, you know, how we actually need to how do we actually get the the token to be able to you know put into Instellar? So you know if it's exposed on the internet, but the endpoint is secure, like if you don't have a token, you can't access it. So this is a completely secure move. So I'm gonna set that up uh, now. I have uh, everything set up. So let's check LXC info. So that looks good. So yeah, we can access it using this IP address. So we're gonna copy this and go click cluster, click add. Here I'm gonna call it Nebula Ash Cloud. And I can actually literally paste the IP address in here with 8443 and it's going to work. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the password or token, how we're going to get that. So we're going to do LXC config trust add. And then that's going to ask us for a name. So the client name is Instellar. It's going to generate us this token. Uh, we copy and we paste this token. And then we can just hit save. 
So that's pretty much all we need to do to add the node. So once we add the node, it should pop right up. Uh, you know, so I've done this in the previous demo video as well. Since I already have a lot of clusters here, I'm just doing this for demo purposes. So I'm not going to add a new cluster. I already, I'm, you know, I have more compute than I know what to do with it here. So in the next video, I'm going to show you like, let's say, you know, for example, you want to scale from a single node to like a multi node, like, you know, have three nodes, for example, how do you actually add those nodes to the cluster? It's actually even easier than setting up the, the cluster itself. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, also reach out and let, let us know if you have any feedback. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.